Hello and welcome to today's episode of my Labyrinth of Toho 2 playthrough series. Today I'll be taking a second shot at Hina, who is occupying the gateway to the sixth floor. That's still too loud. In any case, I spent a lot of time reconfiguring my party for this battle, but I'm hopeful about what I've set up. So without any further ado, let's get to it. <clears throat> now in many ways, this battle is a straight up slugfest. Again, I'll be choosing to do that. Put simply, we don't want to inflict any status effects on Hina. Be that status ups, or be that debuffs, or ailments, nothing. Alright, so my gamble didn't pay off. At all. Poison is the uh, only exception to that. Apparently she's just fine with being poisoned. Speaking, nothing with the mind aspect seems to do any. Oh, yes, and she did that. That absolutely terrible move. Look, she debuffed herself. Now she turns me into buffs. Let's uh, bring up a tankier party. by everyone who's not Parsi. And with this one, probably goodbye Parsi. Or not. Burst her through a barrier.
Heh, <laughs> got her into a cycle. Let's reduce those buffs a little bit. targeting. Last for those barriers. Nazrin. Well, half uh, have a party. Come on, let me do some setup here. but a victory. Now we get Hina.
Alright, so I'll do a bit of cut and pasting here, firstly to make sure I get the right items, and secondly because she required a very specific party to deal with her. So I'll see everyone in just a little bit. And welcome back! Unfortunately I've had to change my plans a bit and I won't be able to record any further footage for today. But I am just going to stop in briefly to do my usual routine of summarising the new character of Kageyama Hina. She is, as you can probably tell from the stats, another mage type. With a most unusual and specific focus on debuffing. So let's see, in terms of moves, she's got a random debuff attack, an attack that clears debuffs from herself to blast the enemy, an attack that debuffs everyone including allies. Now how all of this winds up working for her is her move Curse Reversal, which turns any debuff into a double strength buff. Which basically means you can penalise her as much as you want and then just tear enemies apart that way. For other techniques, let's see, she can make allies more resistant to debuffs, which helps with the whole ally debuffing tech. Becomes more powerful against ailments, standard deal. Concentration causes her to take debuffs from allies. And in a reversal of it all, she can automatically clear particular status effects to cure herself and get a buff. And finally, yes, automatic, another automatic self debuff. It's all about the debuffs, but it does come down to a weird character in play. In any case, with that I will be ending this. For anyone who's tuned in, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.